Hey guys, this is Kit 10K. I'm basically here to show you uh, in my in Soul Calibur 5, my versions of Shredder. I've created nine different versions of Shredder, ranging from the movies, cartoon series, to basically just a couple of uh, Shredders that I created for just for my own, just for fun. The first one I'm going to show you is one of my uh, original Shredders that I created. It's basically based off the Super Shredder from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, uh, the Secret of Views live action movie. Uh, all I did basically was just, I created them like this and just colored them red instead of purple. I do, however, have a purple Super Shredder, which you will see later on. This right here is, like I said, just my red Super Shredder. I guess you could say it's the sh uh, way Shredder was dressed in the first movie, just uh, he mutated himself instead of in the second one. So, the next uh, Shredder is basically based off the 1987 original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle cartoon series. And I don't think I could get it any closer than, than what I've gotten right here. You'll notice that the, the helmet, the uh, arm wear, and the leg wear are pretty much the same in most of them. I mean, there is some slight variations that you're going to notice. Uh, for example, the helmet uh, right along here, you will see uh, some variations of that in, uh, throughout the other shredders that you're going to see. Like you saw in the first Red Super Shredder, he had uh, the serrated blades on his helmet. This one's kind of is my own creation. I basically took the 1987 uh, cartoon shredder and just basically jacked him up into a super shredder. Gave him the serrated blades on his helmet. It's very, it's kind of difficult to tell the difference between uh, the, the first one that you just saw and this one, other than the fact that this one is much more big, he's much bigger, he's much more muscular, and he's a lot taller. And as I said, he's got the serrated blades on his helmet. And the next shredder that I'm going to show you is from the 2003 ser uh, cartoon series, the Utron Shredder. Who is, if you watch, was the primary enemy for, or the primary shredder, excuse me, for the cartoon series in the, the 2003 era. You'll notice uh, that I put the foot symbol right there on his leg. Now, in the series, he has it pretty much in that same spot on his belt buckle, but I can't get it into his belt buckle. Unfortunately, that's probably about as close as I'm going to get. But uh, I colored him uh, his skin uh, black because. When you're watching the series, you can't really see his face. You can only see his red eyes. And when, unless, you, unless you shatter his armor, you're really not going to see anything. The next Shredder uh, that I've created is also from the 2003 series. It is the Tengu Shredder, a.k.a. Demon Shredder. This is like the, supposed to be like the original Shredder from mid medieval Japan. Uh, he was basically endowed, endowed with uh, demon powers because he allowed a demon to become part of his soul instead of killing him. It might be a little tough to see because it's dark, but I'll zoom in so you can see that what I've done. I did the same thing with his skin, you know, made it black, so unless you shatter his armor, you really aren't going to see anything. Uh, this is what I was talking about. The Tengu Shredder did not have any blades on his legs, at least I don't recall. I haven't seen it for a while. But you can look online for the pictures of all these different variations of Shredder to be able to compare the differences. Even though he doesn't have any blades on his legs, which I kind of wish he did, but I wanted to try to keep it as authentic as I possibly could. This is definitely one of my favorite uh, Shredder creations from uh, that's based off uh, the series as much as I possibly can. He even has the uh, tattered cape that uh, basically the uh, Tengu Shredder had. In the cartoon. The next one is uh, the Shredder based off the Shredder from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles back to the, uh, the Sewer series, which takes place after the Fast Forward one, which they get transported into the future. This is the Cyber Shredder. And as you can notice, I put the Foot Clan symbol on his chest, which is how he basically was in the uh, cartoon. This Shredder is a digitally created Shredder. He's like a mind copy from the Utron Shredder who backed up his memories online and the shredder escaped from cyberspace not only to like uh his original creator like the shredder who created him to try to kill the turtles and it may not look a whole lot like the uh cyber shredder but if you uh look at the pictures online 
you might see the, the, the similarities, how I was able to get it as close to them as I possibly could. The next shredder that I am going to show you is, as I mentioned earlier, the purple super shredder from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, who is, by, obviously, if you don't know, was played by Kevin Nash, a seven foot uh, wrestler. He, play, he portrayed the super shredder, which a lot of people don't really know. And as I said, the red super shredder and purple super shredder are just copies of each other. The red one is just my kind of my own creation because I wanted to see like super shredder with red instead of purple. And as I said, most of the uh, arm wear and footwear are basically the same thing. This is probably it, it. Just the reason I you kept using it is because it basically looks so much like Shredder's uh, armor on his arms. It's about as close as you can get, uh, at least as far as I can as I can do. Other people online have various uh, variations of it, which is fine. Everybody uh, you know has, is entitled to their own creative uh, liberties and stuff. This one is the unmutated Shredder from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, Secret of the Ooze. As you can see, he's got the serrated helmet, but he does not have the, uh, the Super Shredder armor, which I gave him. But a lot of people seem to point out that when Shredder is mutated in the second movie, his blades grew, which is kind of a, kind of a stupid thing, but hey, I don't care. I think he looks pretty awesome. So I'll zoom in so you can see the little details. If you can, I'm recording uh, this on my cell phone off of the TV. Um, I'm not very techno savvy. I never was, and I can't imagine I ever will be. And my next and final shredder is the red shredder from the first live action Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie. As you can see, he's vir uh, hit the, the last shredder I just showed you, and this one are virtually identical. The only two different, three differences, excuse me, is the helmet. It does not have the serrated blades. His suit is red instead of purple, and he has the cape. Now, if you ever create these shredders, you can put the cape on. Uh, if you recreate the purple one I just did, you can put the cape on him if you want. I just kind of thought I'd leave it off just for some subtle differences, because most of the movie, he did not wear the uh, cape in the second one. Well... These are my uh, nine different shredders, as I just showed you. Um, I will be posting videos online of basically a, a series I'm going to call War of the Shredders. Basically, various dimensional shredders from different timelines and stuff like that, all battling for the title of the one true supreme shredder. They will be two out of three matches, and I will set the computer to face itself on its hardest difficulty. And we'll just see who will be the top shredder out of these nine I have created. Thanks for watching.